Okay, everybody, it is time for us to get started with this class. I'm so excited for us, so excited to be doing this with you at the same time. So this is our consistency class. I'm going to flip over here. Welcome, welcome to this with, with me. So consistency 14-day pace setters class. Day one, and why did I decide I wanted to do this class? Because consistency is something that I'm really concentrating on. I'm really making an effort to be more consistent. I don't know about you, but that has been kind of an issue for me. Like, I get started doing something, and, and I might just, you know, get going and be doing really good, and then... Like three days later or four days later, I'm, I'm getting out of the pattern. And um, so this consistency class is teaching us how to be consistent on a daily basis in our business. And um, I think that that is absolutely a big, huge, not secret, but answer to why so many people are successful in their businesses because they learn this consistency. Um, so the other thing I want you to know about this class is that I have, you know, been to classes that are very time consuming. And um, I, I do not want that to be this way for you. I want this to be a class that everyone can participate in and feel comfortable participating in it and you're not going to you know feel like you're spending three or four hours a day doing a webinar or doing a class so um that's that's what i need i hope that's what you need too um so let's go ahead and get started with this first day of our 14-day pace setters class so here we go are you ready Ah, here we go. So, let's start out with this quote from John C. Maxwell. Small disciplines repeated with consistency every day lead to great achievements gained slowly over time. So, it truly is a matter of, like, we're not going to get there tomorrow. And um, I think that one of the things that has happened with me and uh, one of the feelings that we might feel like stressed in our business is that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves or we feel like other people are putting pressure on us. Maybe people in our upline or, or whatever. I have had that experience too. Of pressuring you to do more than what you need or want to do. And that's when it becomes something for them and not for you. I always, always, always want you to be participating with me in a way that it is benefiting you. That has to come first. You have to be able to do this at the pace you need to do it at, okay? So always remember that that is the most important thing to me is that you are doing this and, and, and learning these things and putting them in place in your life the way that you need to. And it's okay for it to be slowly over time. There's nothing wrong with getting to a goal, reaching a goal fast, but there's also nothing wrong with reaching it with consistent steps every day over time. And so I do not want you to feel pressured to go any faster than you need to go, okay? Go the pace that you need to go and remember that great achievements gained slowly over time is what consistency brings. So I love that quote from John Maxwell. So what are some of the possible side effects of taking this class? Increased income, that's a possibility. <clears throat> Increased knowledge and self-confidence. Increased feelings of happiness as you change your circumstances and increased motivation to continue building a strong business. 
when you start seeing results with your um, daily activities, from your daily activities, that gives you hope, right? And that's what we want. We want to be doing things that keep hope in our heads and in our hearts. So increased motivation to continue building a strong business is a side effect to this class. So in your class toolbox, we talked about that um, daily, your daily do it list um, work planner. You may have a work planner that you like to work with, but for the next um, 14 days, I would really love it if you would use the daily do it list, maybe along with your regular planner that you love, um, but just to get through this class so you, you'll be able to see why I'm doing that. And then, um, you know, this is, it's a compilation of, of things that I have learned over the years, that daily do it list. So planner. So um, I would really, really want you to use that. And then the personal weekly plan sheet, you're going to find it underneath the daily do it list. This is on our um, Beauty Beacon website training site. So that's where you're going to find that. You're going to find it on the very first page. I'm just going to go over this with you just really quick. You um, have probably already downloaded and made copies of this. So you're going to need two of the weekly plan sheet. To get through this class and then you're going to need um, 14 days of the daily do it list so let me go back to this screen here so i can kind of show this to you on the daily do it list um, you're going to see you've probably already looked over it too but you're going to see a middle section there that has i'm going to go ahead and put my glasses on here you guys too so do you like my red rim glasses Woohoo! so um, we've got different things that you can mark down there that just kind of help you with your daily goals um, looking at your exercise um, how much you want to do with that each day so this sheet is not just for business it's also to help balance your life in general um, it has a place there for for um, 10 minutes of positive reading um, check your Facebook and social media let what the time you're going to limit yourself to on that all of those kinds of things that are in there and then right here in this section in the middle section you have your weekly income producing activities and so these are areas that you can check off and keep track of so that it's a, a reminder of you to um, get one booking or more today um, or to do a home party or a catalog party um, all of those kinds of things are in there your customer care reorder contacts and things like that so that's especially in there and then on the far side here you have what is called the high five grateful list and the high five to do today list and these are important things for your your personal things that you need to get done you're prioritizing five things to do that day and five things on your business also um so for your per your personal needs your business needs and and i always like to put down there what you're grateful for i have a i have a jar that is a i call it a blessing jar and uh so as i'm grateful for things during the day i have a little just a little sticky pad and i'll write those down and then at night i throw those in my blessing jar and it just helps to remind me of the things that i have to be grateful for and then um, at the end of the year um, one of the things that i do is i just pull those out and read them and it's really fun it's a really great thing to do at the end of the year okay so that's what that's for too and then um Let's look at the personal weekly plan sheet. So this is your personal, my personal weekly plan sheet. And you're going to have two of those, like I said, and you are going to set the sales goals that you want. There's a section at the top for that, a booking goal and a sponsoring goal um, if you're building a team. And then um, it has all the days of the week and the hour time slots that are in there so that you can write down all your obligations everything that you have to do so you know what you're doing during the week okay that's why those are so important so make sure that you have those and let's flip back over here to this mode okay so that's what's in the class toolbox those are the two main tools that we're going to be working with 
in this. So let's get it get going here for day one, lesson one. Um, our video today will be just a, a little bit longer than your other ones are going to be, but it's just kind of going over some referencing and things here. So day one lesson is not knowing can create doubt, but knowledge creates confidence. Doubting what um, you're doing can stop you dead in your tracks. It's necessary that you have the knowledge of how the opportunity and the products work. So I'm going to look over here. I, for some reason, I am not able to see the notes on my PowerPoint from here. So I'm going to be kind of looking down here to remind me of what to say. So you can, it can just stop you dead in your tracks if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know about the products, you know, that you are representing. So um, you don't have to know everything, you know, right up, up front. You, you don't. But you do have to start learning about those things that you need to learn about. And resources are available for that um, in our corporate back office and also on our team training site. It's important that you go into the team training site and check things that have been updated, check for new things and like that. And then um, the other thing too is that you don't have to take a great deal of time to do this. It's like five minutes a day. It's not a huge time investment but a huge investment over time. So that's cumulative. As you are going into these resources and you are reading things, all of that knowledge is gonna accumulate and make you more confident. So it's really important to be um, taking advantage of all the resources that we have for that. If you feel like you don't have enough information, then I really, really want you to contact me and let me know what you need. Let me know what additional things you need to know about that you think are going to help you in your business, okay? That's really important for, for me to know for you. So just let me know those things if you need some extra help, okay? And then the next one is to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself just like other professionals do. Um, for instance, um, my son is an eye doctor and every year he has to go to special classes and things so that he can keep up with everything that's going on in the medical field, you know, as it pertains to the health of eyes and disease and all that kind of thing. Um, you know, other people that like are in our profession, um, so like hair technicians, estheticians, um, you know, the cosmetologists, those um, people that are in the beauty industry, they have to do the same thing. They have to take classes to keep them up to date on things that are going on. So it's important for you to invest um, in yourself just like those professionals do. And knowledge makes you a stronger and better business person. It allows you to better serve your client base. The more you know about the products that you have um, and the opportunity, the better you're gonna be able to serve them. Um, it makes you stronger, it makes you more confident, the more knowledge you have. So improve yourself through things like motivational books and by listening to positive speakers. Um, I know that you know, some of us, you know, you can get the books, um, the audio books. You can listen to those while you're doing other things, like you're doing your dishes, um, putting your makeup on. There's different times that you can, like, multitask and be listening to motivational speakers or being listening to a motivational book if you don't have a whole lot of time to go ahead and just sit down and read. But you know what? Just like on the daily do it list, there's a section in there for you to mark off that maybe you're just taking 10 minutes to read. Again, um, we're not I'm, uh, we're not asking for great big huge chunks of time because this is all going to be cumulative. It's all getting in there and that's what you want to do. Okay, let's look at this next thing. Be intentional about knowing what's up. So this is about taking the time to 
to have a focus to be really focused on knowing what's going on. So do you intentionally set time aside every week to be studying and stay on top of your pharmacy business? Are you doing that now? The following actions are going to be able to help you in doing that and staying on top of that. So for, again, 10 minutes a day. So if you're working another job, I have another business along with my pharmacy business. So I have to work around a schedule too. Many of you work another job and you're having to work around that. So these little chunks of time that you can fit in are all going to be good and accumulate for you. So 10 minutes of focused viewing. Check for new products being launched at the beginning of the month. Sometimes we have a launch in the middle of the month. You're going to see that, um, you know, announcement being made either in on our team page, um, on our training page, in an email from me or from our uplines sites. So you're going to be able to see that and from corporate too, that'll come in and may come in on your email too. So check for new products, especially at the beginning of the month and be a user of the products um, what are you using? Are you using all the skincare? Are you using all pharmacy skincare on your skin? Are you using the makeup? Are you using the cleaning products, the laundry products, all of those things? As much as you can incorporate into your life, do so with the products that you represent because then you're going to have more knowledge about what's up with those products. You're going to have personal experience with that be a user of the products check your email daily and read notifications so you know that i don't send an email out to you every day um, i'm not going to bombard you with you know emails every day i just don't think it's it's necessary and i also kind of think that that bothers people so i don't want to be that kind of person if you need more from me let me know okay check your upline social media team page and or training sites also to get additional information. Okay, so let's get into our activities. Okay, so consistency, consistency activity. We're gonna have consistency, consistency activities every day. So, and like I said, I am doing this with you all. When you tell me that you are doing this, I'm gonna be doing it alongside you, okay? so. Consistency activity one, on your daily do it list, do it work planner, fill out the three high five to do today lists. These are the five most important things you feel you must accomplish today in the areas of business, personal needs, and areas of gratitude. So fill those out. And then um, consistency activity two is log onto your pharmacy website and choose a product to learn about. Um, click on it to enlarge and read about what it is and how to use it. Then I want you to tell one person about it that you think the product will help. Use whatever form of communication you want to do this. So phone, text, email, instant message, any of those things. You can tell them you've been challenged to get feedback on a product for a class you're taking which you are, ask if they think it is something that would help them or someone they know might be helped by it. Then I want you to email me or text me, whatever you want to do, and let me know what you learned about, what product you picked to learn about, and who you told, okay? So that's activity one. Activity two, and then activity three is to complete your personal weekly plan sheet for this week. Um, commit to how many hours you'll devote to your pharmacy business and email let me know how many hours you're devoting to your business. And then consistency activity two. Oh, that's actually four. Okay, I forgot, didn't put that in there, right? Tonight, before you go to bed, take tomorrow's daily do it list 
and fill out the high five sections on the right for business needs and personal needs. If you're planning your food each day, fill in the good choices food section too, okay? So some of us are doing that too. So there's kind of some filling out and stuff to do. We are just hitting right at 20 minutes right here. So we're off to a great start. I hope you guys love this class and that it is a huge blessing for you. I'm looking forward to working with you and seeing where we go with this, okay? Everybody have a super, super day. Do great things. And um, I will see you back here tomorrow morning, okay? Bye for now.